Another couple hours, another waterfall. This time we're at Detifos. Uh, I think that's how you pronounce it. Um, this is one of more their iconic ones, right? No? I, I don't really know. No. There's like how many island, how many waterfalls are there on this island? <laughs> Quite a few. We were just chatting in the car how literally our entire trip is just hey, let's go to this waterfall, let's go to this waterfall. And and the thing is though about Iceland, like nobody talks about the landscape in between. It is beautiful. I mean, we're up in the what is it, like northern part of Iceland, uh -huh. and there are less people up here than I would say like Reykjavik, Golden yeah. Circle has. So it's been really fun to just drive around and the I mean, it's like fields, luscious green, green black, mountains, like, yeah, water, blue water, everywhere. Super cool. So, so cool. Definitely recommended. I mean. I was kind of worried because some people said if you're going to come out here uh, like four days is enough but then we were going to be out here like six days or seven and so definitely worth it though I think I I would say like you want a week so you can see the entire island. Where's the trail? So anyways I don't really know if we're <laughs> <laughs> Hannah just said where's the trail. I don't know if we're on a trail we're just going to rug it out here and see if we can make our way over to beautiful. the waterfall. The Alright see you then. Maybe you don't know it but it it's better It's gonna be about the glaciers melting <laughs> <laughs> we're not <laughs> not we're trying not to turn this into a nat geo this isn't a nat geo <laughs> but it's cool amazing <laughs> Okay, there are these demon birds here. We did not read about them on any blog, so we feel it is our obligation to let you know about them. Like these birds with like these orange beaks, they're like at you every time you get close, and but even not when you're not close. They're not puffins. The black and white birds that have orange beaks, they're called puffins. These aren't puffins. We want to see the puffins we haven't yet. These ones, these ones are actually a bit scary. So like you're walking by, it flips its head towards you, it starts like chittering at you. And you then, should do that one then, more time. And then and then it like charges you. Like it actually comes after you and you can hear it like after you as you're running away. It's like, yeah, it's like a clicking sound. It's weird. Scary birds, if you come here, avoid them unless you want to get like a picture of yourself running away, in which case like That happened. Approach them. <laughs> approach them. Alright, okay. we'll see you on the next place. Alright, so we are at the next waterfall called Sparty Foss. Sparty No, no, S V. Sva. Svarty Foss, not yeah. Sparty. Like <laughs> Smarty. So, 
Sparty Foss. <laughs> Sparty Foss. <laughs> yeah. And it's raining a bit right now, which is why we're recording this from the car. We've got a nice rain fly. We're going to put on our backpack and just mob up this, uh, this nice little hike. How long is it? Like a kilometer and a half? Mm -hmm. So we'll be up there in a little bit. Probably not much filming in between, but we'll be sure to give you a little sneak peek once we're at the top. See you there. Okay, so we're out here. We out here. It is actually like kind of pouring rain now. It's wet. It's wet. <laughs> but it's beautiful, it's as you can as see cold. back here. How do you do that? Right there. There's the waterfall. It's beautiful. I think it's we're going to get a little bit closer, but just wanted to like, I mean, obviously we can't take out our camera with this kind of rain. Wait, first we've got to talk about how cool this is. There was just lightning. Did you see that? Yeah, I wasn't. I was hoping that was just like a camera flash. No, no, it was lightning. Okay, what were you saying? Okay, so we're gonna go over there. I'm gonna take. I'll make Chad take some video of it. It's so cool. So the geo. So this land was made from volcanoes and like lava and cooling and stuff. So this is cool because the rock right here, um, like it, it wasn't crystallized, but it was formed. So they're like columns and hexagonal shapes. Hex. Hex. Hexagonal. Hexagonal. Uh, I, so I'm pretty sure that it is hexagonal. I've called it hexagonal but, my whole but life. <laughs> just comment down below whether it's hexagonal or hexagonal. Um, but the way the the stone behind us is formed and like broken off is so beautiful and so cool. That's why we'll we're on you. a hike in the rain because it's. So Fully wet. We're so 100% can't be wet. I can feel my elbows that are wet, and I'm wearing a raincoat, so I don't know what that means. Too fun though. So awesome. The coolest thing about going on this glacier hike is when you're up there, the glacier is like always moving, so there's like cracks underneath. You can actually hear the water and the glacier like separating and colliding with each other. It's just massive, so really beautiful up there. It was a load of fun. And so there's these white glaciers, but then the black ash that you're seeing is from volcanic eruptions. Back in 2010, there is an eruption. So that's where you see all the black with the white here. It really is crazy. This could be, this could be one and a half month year old. Alright, number one, there are way too many bugs out here. Lots of bugs. Number two. Oh, I just ate one. Ew. <laughs> so I'm gonna talk with my mouth like this so I don't get anything in it. <laughs> this morning we are at the Silfra Springs or is in it? Thing Valer National Thing Park. Thingvalier National Park. And there's this like silfra water out here that's like the clearest water in the world. Super cold. I mean, it's like 30 something degrees. Mm -hmm. So it's gonna be like super cold, um, but super clear, beautiful. We're swimming between two tectonic plates, which just like in and of itself is amazing. And so we're just like really excited to get through these bugs and then finally go jump in the water that's gonna freeze up lots of Iceland, amazing trip, honestly so much fun. Iceland is awesome, you need to go check it out if you haven't been there before. 
We're just excited to be home, off to the next adventure. And with that, that's the end of our Iceland adventure. Maybe you don't know it, but it gets better